hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install mac os ventura on vmware now vmware is a software that lets you run multiple operating systems on your host computer using virtualization now here are the files we need first we need mac os ventura iso file and second we need unlocker for vmware now the unlocker will allow us to install mac os ventura on vmware by default you shouldn't be able to install mac os on vmware but using the unlocker we should be able to do that now the link to both of these files are provided in the video description so you can get the link from there and then download these two files and lastly we also need to download vmware so you can head to your browser and then search for vmware you can see the first page over here which has to vmware.com click on it and then up here click on products and then you should see vmware workstation player over here click on workstation player and then you can see download for free so after downloading you just have to install like every other software and we can proceed with the installation so this is vmware already installed on my pc now let's head to our download folder and then extract unlocker for vmware so let's extract with winra okay extracted now let's open the folder open and then you can see a file over here called win-install which is a windows command script so let's right click and then run as administrator yes now this will take some time but you just have to wait till the process is completed you can see it's at one percent now i've completed this process before so i'm just gonna cancel it but make sure you allow this to run and you should get up to 100 percent everything should work properly before you can close your command prompt now we have to create a new virtual machine on vmware so open vmware and then click on create a new virtual machine now select installer dix image file iso and then browse the file now we have to select mac os ventura iso open next and then set the operating system to apple mac os x now this is why we used unlocker for vmware with unlocker it adds this option here but if you don't run unlocker you shouldn't have apple mac os x here now we can select the version which is 13 ventura is version 13 and then we can next and then let's give this machine a name mac os 13 ventura and then this is the location of our machine you can change that if you want so i'm just going to change it to somewhere else i have enough storage okay and then we can click on next now set the dig size you want to allocate to ventura so i'm going to give it 60 gigabytes and that should be okay now let's click on next and then click on customize hardware now this is where you set the ram you want to allocate to your machine I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my PC, so I'm gonna give it about 5 gigabytes, and that should be okay. Click on processor right here, and then increase the number of processor cores. I'm gonna give it three since I have eight on my PC. Now I shouldn't give more than 40% of your resources to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. Now we can close, and then click on finish. okay now we have to make few changes to our vmx file now we have to locate the folder where mac os ventura is installing in my case it is my backup drive and this is it so you can see lots of files over here this is where mac os ventura will be installing now you can see vmware virtual machine configuration file right here so let's right click on that file and then open with notepad okay now scroll down to the end of that file and then add this line smc dot version equal to zero in quotes now we can use ctrl s to save close this and then close this and then we can start our machine so click on play virtual machine okay we can begin the installation now let's set the language and continue 
now I'll click on Dix Utility because we have to first erase the Dix before installing Mac OS Ventura. Continue with Dix Utility. And you can see a Dix over here called VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive Media. Now that is our Dix and you can see the size 64GB. It should be relative with the size you set when initializing the Dix. Now I'll click on Erase. And then we can call this Mac OS 13. Just give it a name you can identify it with. Make sure the format is set to APFS or Mac OS Extended Journal. Both of them works. And then you can click on Erase and done now you can close this and then head back to install mac os better continue continue agree to the terms as well and you can see your disk over here click on your disk and then continue now if you didn't erase your disk you won't get an option to select it that is why we erased our disks to a format Mac OS will recognize before installing. So make sure you erase your disks before you install. So we can continue and it should start installing. Now this process may take about an hour or less or sometimes even more. It all depends on your hardware. So you just have to wait patiently while installing. It may restart or reboot severally but just don't do anything. Just let it install. Now we can begin the setup, enter your country or region, now we have to set up a user profile to access our machine. So basically, this is how to install Mac OS Ventura on VMware Workstation. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.